I have no idea what to expect, being completely honest. We have Martin Cita Pants here again. Absolute legend he is. And this one's a doozy, it looks like. But I, the ultimate battlefield for tactic tier list. I'm so confused what's happening. But my body is ready, and that's all I can say about that. He shows up every fucking time. Asman. <laughs> I love that man, but like he's he's really an unofficial Deathly Hallows at this point. I feel like Asman Gold needs his own like his own bingo square on our bingo sheet. Hold of tanks. Hmm. Hmm. Asman jump scare. Absolutely. That Asman. Hello again. Sounds Welcome back, right. soldier. Yeah. Today, you're being inducted into my special unit. Oh no. The Bean Berets. Whoop. In this induction, I'm going to be showing you some of Battlefield 4's wackiest tactics in Teal's form. Some are good. <laughs> some are bad. Some might get you sent to the naughty corner. And some are cursed. What I ask in return for this forbidden knowledge is a promise. Uh -huh. A commitment. To go out to your local Battlefield servers, put this training into practice, and Hold share- Hold the fuck up. What did that- What, were, what did all those say? A commitment. To go what? <laughs> Is this? I need to hop on Battlefield Four. Clearly, oh my god, this is this is beautiful. Twenty four seven locker hardcore. Uh, Germany. Uh, is that a Chinese server? That has to be a Chinese server. What is happening? What is happening here? Go out to your local battlefields. There's still players in this game. This is beautiful. Servers. Oh, it's Hong Kong. Put this training into okay. practice Thanks and for the share correction. in the chaos with your fellow beings. What is Bing chilling? I want I'm no so map confused. unconquered. No server untouched. Perfect. And I want our slimy, Heinz Beans flavored mark to be left upon the Battlefield 4 community. We start Heinz at... Heinz Beans. That deserve to be in Chile because Chile has beans, Kiwi. He was, he was going to cancel my stream himself, just you watch. F tier, move up to S tier, and perhaps go beyond. So, Uwu tier? Let us begin. <laughs> Got it! First on our list, it funny. the so-called long-range sniper. You know this guy? Maybe you are this guy. I would do it. You are this guy. I would be this guy, yeah. Aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> he sits at the back of the map with his 40 times scope and misses 52 consecutive shots before hitting one guy in the body. I feel called out! I don't care if you think you're God's gift to sniping. Nothing useful comes from sitting in the back and doing nothing. I'm called out! Get in there and stop being a backline bitch! <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god! Kiwi, I am a backline bitch confirmed. <laughs> There's your clip, everybody. Yeah. Next, exclusively using the mo 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 The hell is this? I love it. What's happening? Ah! Wait, what? Honey. Sponsor? Sponsor? What? No. Really? What? Yo! Dude got a sponsor. That's right, boyos. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Have you been sitting inside for far, far, far too long? Has your aggression been building to the point of enragement? Well, now you can transport yourself back to 1939, screaming across the fields of France in one of 550 different tanks. Destroy artillery, little lads, medium lads, and chongoids. Chongoids. And did I mention not only can you zoom and zoom across France, you can also go outside of France. What? Climb steep hill, sneak through German forest, tear across some desert. Probably not this one. Engage in close quarters urban combat. That's right. Oh, there are boys, 40 so battle rooms. You may be thinking, 550 tanks. That's a lot of tanks. A lot of tanks. Sure is. Surely they're lowly detailed and unrealistic. Nope. No. Historical accuracy is number one priority in World of Tanks. This means I believe that's that you how World War II feel was not, actually. like a tank taking part in a <laughs> furious armor defense. Shoot tanks. Earn experience. Well, apparently with his, uh, with his Shoot code. Tanks. <laughs> O continues the vicious cycle. Surely with all this content, it so costs money, content. right? No. To top it all off, gentlemen, World the game is 100% free. With 100 million players worldwide. And for PC. Computer. <laughs> Why is it funny? Why am I laughing? <laughs> this is another example of Veggie Tales that humor will randomly randomly be generated in the future. This is This is all this... <laughs> Can't stop laughing. Why is it funny? I can't. 
Now that I have your attention, <laughs> download World of Tanks using the first link in the description. During legend, your registration, legend. use the code TANKMANIA to get a free 7-day premium account, <laughs> and 250,000 credits, the premium tank Excelsior <laughs> tier 5, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles yes, each. That's fair. Tiger 131 tier 6, Cromwell B tier 6, oh and T3485M tier 6. Now onto the video. You know, I would play it. I would play this game. I'd be super fucking bad at it, but I'd play it. Next, exclusively using the mortar in your team's base and not anywhere else. I'm doing it. It's Just happening. We have These artillery people are known in the community as mortards. <laughs> Easily the most brain dead tactic on this entire list. You set up your mortar and click on the orange Doritos on the screen. This this whole subculture move, is fascinating to, to me. You just click the left mouse button and are occasionally rewarded with neuron activation. Th this is my class. Kiwi, we're, Kiwi, when are we playing Battlefield 4? I, I need to become mortar, mortar bitch. Now sure, mortars can be a kind of useful gadget for getting people to move off of a rooftop or building. <laughs> but we're a mortard, so we don't do that. You set up at the back of the map and kill three guys in a 40 minute game. <laughs> up to you. That's me! <laughs> Next up, the DS3 decoy. Probably the most useless gadget in the entire game. When thrown, the it shows the enemy team a little orange Dorito on the map as if it was one of your teammates. This is a fairly decent concept, and maybe you could use it to lure some unsuspecting enemies into your trap. But what in practice, it? it just doesn't fucking I'm playing work. Battlefield 4, it's it happening, I have it installed. It can be used for any other gadget, and is more or less completely useless. Excellent. F tier. Go away. F, F tier, go away. <laughs> Lastly, we have AT mines. Do you read this mountain dude? What? Fair enough. AT mines? I love AT mines. I use them all the time. Who said that? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> God, these things suck. Sure, you might get one, maybe two kills with them, but most of the time the tank will see them and you'll have wasted your time. <laughs> Hooray. In Legends. trying to get some footage with these things, I got a massive one kill. This was after placing the mines directly in front of the enemy spawn. Like, I've logged into trigger fire. Like, clearly everything's accurate. I'm not sure why it's not showing up. Which made me feel like a very slimy AT mine user. Slimy. In order to use AT mines, you need to sacrifice either a rocket launcher or your repair tool, each of which is far more useful. F tier. Shit gadget. I'm trying to fix it off. <laughs> Moving on to D tier, we begin with AA mines. Now I know what you're thinking. Aren't AA mines just sky AT mines? Maybe. No, no, no. Now you only get one AA mine, as opposed to six AT, and I've gotten a good fat zero kills with it. <laughs> but they're pretty good for a maneuver I like to call the whack and smack. What? If a helicopter is getting a little too cozy, you throw the AA mine down and whip out your rocket launcher. Yeah. The AA mine immediately launches a rocket, Hits the helicopter for 40 damage and kills his mobility for a few seconds. Legend. In this golden window of opportunity, you then press mouse one and hit him with the. Fuck. Got him. I said, hit him with the. <laughs> oh, come on. I said, hit him with the. Yeah! And then you hit him with the. So it's not useless, but it's also not great. D tier. D tier. Got him! The Based. mortar. Now that our brain has grown beyond the spinal column, we're able to move around the map and then use the mortar. Very advanced, I know. It's a pretty good tool for removing people from rooftops, but other than that, it's still a bit useless. And most importantly, boring. The mobile artillery also falls into this nah, category. Nah, sounds amazing. But now, we can shoot at the orange tank. <laughs> I would play this still one 100%. Boring, yeah. D tier. D -tier. Yeah, got him! Moving on, we have the Airburst and 40mm LVG. Gross. These weapons are in the same vein as the mortar, in that they require very little brain activation <laughs> to use. Simply find a choke point on a close quarters map, and click your left mouse button. <laughs> D tier. <laughs> Next up, the solution to everyone's disappointing affinity to getting killed by bullets. The Ballistic Shield. This bad boy can block all incoming fire when equipped. Unfortunately, that's about it. Oh, the Final now, Fantasy sure, 7 music. it does have some uses. For instance, going up elevators that are held by enemies. Yeah. In this clip, this fucking legend peeked around the corner with his shield, managed to distract me with shooting his feet for just a second, like full Marty Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> you could also the smack people. <laughs> D tier. <laughs> the last item in D tier, we have claymores and slams. <laughs> now I know slams are pretty much the same as AT mines, but really they're better. You can put them on walls, you can put them on vehicles, you can throw them horizontally, <laughs> and be generally more creative. Sure, they do a bit less damage, but they're a little better in all other situations. Claymores are pretty shit, but they're very useful for annoying high-level players. Simply put one in a dark Siege corner shield of a room, is cracked. and it's basically a free kill. D tier. D tier. Uh-oh. I love it. Here in C tier, the tactics get a bit spicier, and also become fun. 
What? an alien concept to most Battlefield players. <laughs> Definitely alien. Starting us off, we have road killing. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Run your vehicle into an enemy's soft, squishy, meat-packed body, and they die. <laughs> now, this is not the most effective tactic, but it's very fun. Yeah, now, of it course, is. You're vulnerable when going for road kills. When players see a fast-moving quad bike hurtling towards them, they don't see danger, they see a free kill. So, yeah. you must be stealthy and attack from where they least expect. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list, the various types Rook of grenade launchers legit. in the game. We got the 40mm and the 40mm 3GL. What's the These are both what? a little better than the bouncy as fuck LVG of D tier, but only by a little. The difference between these two is the 40mm goes dunk. <laughs> while the 3GL goes dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh, it's now, three. Of course, okay, I got it. The 3GL does less damage per shot, but the sound entirely makes up for it. Dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> Excellent. C tier. <laughs> Levolutions, or level evolutions. What? Wow. When wow. this game first came out, much of the advertising showed huge buildings falling over, dams collapsing, chimneys toppling down, the Arecibo Observatory undergoing catastrophic failure. No, none of this happened, did it? <laughs> wow. Huh. huh. Well, <laughs> it's still just as cool today. Each map in the game has some main destructible event that changes how it's played. Oh, on Siege of okay, Shanghai, so the massive the tower in the middle of the map collapses. On Langkang Dam, the dam can be destroyed. <laughs> on Hainan Resort, the sides of this building can collapse. And on Caspian Border, this big boy tower can be destroyed. Dead. Now, this all sounds great, and the animations are still incredible all these years later, but most of the time, kind of ruins the map. Especially yeah. on Siege of Shanghai. That being said, C tier. C tier. Still pretty cool. Now generally, in Battlefield 4, you shoot people with guns. But for this tactic, we're ditching all ranged weapons in favor of stabbing people in the neck with our knife. Without knowing what you're doing, going knife only tends to suck. But if you employ the Batman strategy, you may find more success. <laughs> Batman stands for Big Angry Testosterone Fueled Man Attacking at Night. <laughs> Very scary, no doubt. I found the most success on the map Dawnbreaker, where you can play spawn beakers high up on skyscrapers and better repeatedly level. drop it. down to stealthily attack people's necks. Bonus points if you also use the phantom bow to become a full ninja. What? <laughs> C tier. By Speaking of the knife, phantom yes. bow, we have using shit weapons. As it turns out, <laughs> running around the battlefield like some 14th century longbowman is not conducive to long-term success. No. Which is a fancy way of saying that 90% of the time, you'll eat shit. But cool. that 10%, yep. oh boy, does it feel good. I got him. Killing someone with the bow is a very persuasive, I am better than you kind of statement. Yeah, it is. <laughs> to really go for gold, you can equip the bow as your primary no! and the mayor's leg as a secondary. Ooh. A really, really shit lever action rifle. <laughs> Once you get 90 kills with the mayor's leg, you even get the 40 times scope. What? Yep, the 40 times scope. What an incredible piece of technology. Bipod knife is meta. Sure, deliberately handicapping yourself with bad guns doesn't sound great, but trust me, it's a lot more fun than these things down here. Yeah. And it's more fun than just using this. <laughs> what? C tier. What about the AK? Next what? on our lovely list, the Suave. The Suave what? is a paper airplane that can be thrown and steered around to find enemy players. Its main purpose is to spot people and laser designate vehicles. But really, we all know that That's using it as a battering ram and plunging it deep into the hearts of your enemies is its real that. purpose. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you can only kill one guy per Suave, so it's not the most effective, but definitely very fun. C tier. <laughs> Passive radar missiles. These aren't very fun, but they are actually decent. There are three types of anti-air missiles in the game. Uh -huh. Heat seekers, active radar, and passive radar. Okay. Heat seekers need to lock on before they can be fired, which gives the enemy aircraft a lot of warning before you shoot. Active radar missiles can be fired without locking on and immediately track. They're better and give the enemy much less time to yeah, react, are amazing. but it's still not a guaranteed hit. Then there's passive radar missiles, the best of both worlds. Uh -huh. You can shoot them before you lock someone, let the missiles gain heaps of speed, and then lock your target. Gross. It may seem like we're giving the enemy some time to react, but quite often they have literally no time because of lag compensation and are a guaranteed hit. Wild. Wonderful. Only drawback is that the weapons that the passive radar missiles replace are usually much better. Fair. Unless they're heat <laughs> C tier. Speaking of aircraft, does anyone actually know how to use these things? Of no. course not. It's not like they're the most powerful vehicles in the game or anything. No. That would be ridiculous. Real gamers do not use jets as intended by the developers. Accurate. Real gamers do not use the munitions on the jet, but use the jet as a munition. This seems pretty base to me. You take your jet, 
find some unfortunate tank somewhere on the map, and roleplay as a GBU-12 500-pound <laughs> aerial laser-guided bomb. <laughs> Incredible. Beautiful. C tier. I love it. Last of C tier, we have by far the most powerful vehicle you in mean, the game. You mean the jet isn't a missile? Like, this bad boy can fit one guy in the cabin, one guy on the back, and one brave, courageous, heroic soldier in the bucket. Wow. It dies in one hit to basically anything. It's slow as shit, but by God, is it fun. Uh-huh. Oh. So you get out, you're gonna die. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> it was not okay. Oh. It's not okay. C tier. Awful. You don't scare me! In B tier, the tactics should get a bit hours. better. And I'm getting Ward How Hammer vibes. Fun. For our first item in B tier, we drive around in a car, doing drive-bys on the local pedestrians. <laughs> Works better with a friend, but friends are not necessary. That's what I tell myself anyway. <laughs> All you need is a buggy. buggy. You can roadkill people, shoot people with a gun on top, run away from tanks while making monkey noises. Oh, there's a tank right on the right. <laughs> Race monkey. A whole world of possibilities opens when you choose the buggy lifestyle. B tier. Flashbangs. Simple and effective. Fling a flashbang or 12 into a small opening or 12? and charge in after no. it pops. With some luck, the enemies will be blind and you can shoot them in the head. You can also stick them into a 40 millimeter grenade launcher and blind people at what? least 40 meters away. What? Solid. B tier. Fuck flashbangs. Hey, you guys hear that? How many? Yes. Uh oh. Oh shit. Ah, uh, get down! <laughs> Anyway, that's right, lads. We're taking it oh back to God, 1960s Vietnam. Awful. The transport helicopter. Get some friends, get in the chopper, and get on the guns. Uh huh. These things are pretty fucked. You can kill awful. helicopters and jets pretty quick. Infantry will simply melt when shot at with 6,000 rounds per minute, and even some light armored vehicles can be destroyed. A very underutilized vehicle, yeah. but tearing shit up. No, this looks meta. <laughs> when you don't do that. B tier. I'm not flying it, I'm awful at flying. Now, let's take the brain cells we've been developing and throw them all in the bin. Never go back to the AC-130. This time, however, it's incredibly strong. The primary gun on the plane is the same as a tank cannon, what? but unlike most tanks... What? How? <laughs> it can fly. Base. land vehicles are just kind of fucked until you're dealt with. Not to mention, there are two other guns. Not a super exciting way of playing the game, but definitely pretty effective. B tier. The poor man. Hardcore. The game mode. What? Why? Hardcore no, has this following it. of people who seem to think that it takes way more skill than regular Battlefield. And it's so much more realistic. Yeah, QE. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Based. <laughs> Yes, they had hardcore. God, all these people just me 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 all me 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 just nonstop whinging, oh complaining. <laughs> oh, it's no really <laughs> Shut up! Hardcore lowers your HP from 100 to 60. Oh, not awful. a huge change. No. But it completely destroys all of the carefully adjusted weapon balance. Yeah. And results in whoever clicks first wins. Yeah, Q, you could just play Halo SWAT if you wanted that. Amazing. It's also not a realistic <laughs> game, and nor is hardcore. Sure, it can be a little more difficult, and you may get team killed every now and then. But that's not why you play hardcore. It's a shotgun. You play what are you hardcore expecting? to abuse the fucked weapons. Sniper rifles, which now one hit anywhere in the body, awful, and explosives of any sort are stupidly strong. Yeah, I the only populated so. hardcore server in the OCE region doesn't allow shotguns, so you'll have to use your imagination for these clips. But they're <laughs> basically snipers that can't miss. Quite fun. B tier. Ew, for the final item in B tier, we have all the battle pickups. If you see this icon on the map, it means there is a strong gun sitting there waiting for you to use it. Uh huh. Battle pickups come in all shapes and sizes. There's the USAS-12 with frag rounds, the AMR-2 sniper that one hits guys anywhere you hit them, the M32 grenade launcher with six 40mm grenades. Jesus. The M136 rocket launcher that can do a ridiculous 80 damage to a tank. <laughs> There's this little drone called the Raw and this flying fuck called the XD-1. <laughs> and of course, the coolest weapon in the game, the railgun. So what? N wait, this is a railgun? What? what? Pretty cool. B tier. Death roulette? <laughs> Moving up to A tier, the UCAV, or UCAV for short. A small drone that's launched from a tube uh -huh. and flies at very fast, fast speeds. 
It's a lot like the swab for the recon, but it flies much faster and packs a very- Why don't they just remaster Battlefield 4? Jesus Christ, like, EA, get on this shit. Very powerful, explosive warhead. I understand, I may take some flack for loving this thing. Oh, interesting. It's pretty much just non-stop free that. kills, but it's pretty much just non-stop free kills. Oh my god. Got him. <laughs> for inventory out in the open, it's unavoidable instant death. Does a guaranteed 20 damage against tanks, even through APS. Basically, a you tank. can kill the pilot out of helicopters with some consistency. <laughs> Takes a bit of getting used to the controls, but very fun once you do. Very good. A tier. I like that they're boring. Rockets. Aren't they cool? You got your RPGs, s'mores, MBT lords, lots of options for blowing shit up. However, we have a problem. Uh huh. One rocket will do around 30 damage to a tank on a good hit. Yeah. Which means you need four rockets to kill it. Uh huh. So, get yourself some friends and pick out your large explosive shooter of choice. Uh huh. Pew. Not good for enemy tanks, which is precisely who you'll be fighting. Uh huh. Bada bing. Bada bing. <laughs> Pro tip find an M136 rocket launcher That's on the map. That's wild and use it. Cav exists. Quickly switch to your other launcher and then use that. Game is legit. Big results. <laughs> Big. Big. A tier. Javelins For our game, next item, we remove our left hand from the game and play on the stationary weapons. There are a few <laughs> types of stationary weapons, but the main ones are the 50 cal and the tow launcher. Can you guess which is better? <laughs> Something tells me it's the tow launcher. Yeah, the 50 cal sucks. But the tow launcher. Oh boy. This bad boy shoots a steerable <laughs> missile that hits very what? hard. It's steerable? <gasps> Holy shit. And it destroys helis in one hit. What? A tier. A tier. In the same vein as the utter humiliation in dying to a tow missile, we have strapping up your jeep with an obscene number of explosives. Oh my god, Cranking yes. up the ISIS music to full volume. <laughs> revving get the, the no, no, get the LAV, LAV. Ah, this day! This day! This day! This day! <laughs> Yes! The great and noble C4 <laughs> soldier. You must be sneaky, drive in it's from the lanes they least expect, legendary. and attack at the perfect moment. Guaranteed to generate huge lakes of salty tank drivers. Uh huh. Fuck off with gay C4 car <laughs> pussy. <laughs> A tier. Oh. MRAPs, or mine resistant ambush protected vehicles. Uh huh. The mine resistant part is a complete lie, by the way. <laughs> These bad boys are light. Fast vehicles with a big old 50 mounted on top. Great for you and a friend to drive around. Sounds shoot. about right. And drive around a bit more. Sounds like Xbox and chat. And drive a bit more and shoot a bit more, etc. <laughs> These things are really fast. So if you see a big boy, run. Run. A tier. <laughs> Very similar to passive radar missiles. We have the Igla. This guy's a lot like the passive radar missiles, but is carried by dudes on the ground. I miss this, this means battlefield. Given enough teammates, you can have as many Iglas as you want. Much like the passive radar missiles, you don't shoot at the target you would intend to hit first. Instead, you shoot at something else, let the missile gain lots of speed, and then lock on and hit your intended target. Nice. A tier. Nice. Speaking of shooting things with friends, we are getting yourself a squad, Jesus. going to the back of the map, and causing trouble. Which oh. means capturing their points. Specifically, the gimmies, or the ones next to their base. Of course, you need friends to do this. Yeah. In this game, my friends and I went to Foxtrot on Zavod 311 place mines all over the place, and generally cause lots of problems for the enemy team. <laughs> if you want to win the game, this is a legit strategy to do so. Bunker, bunker up. Down smoke. No, stop it. Yeah, smoke grenades. These bad boys explode, put out a big cloud of smoke and obscure vision. That's awful. That's all they do. Yep. D tier. D tier. <laughs> no, These things are extremely useful for pushing through tight choke points. Simply chuck some smoke at the end of the choke, run through and... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, this time. <laughs> throw the smokes, run in, and... <clears throat> I said, throw the smokes, run in, and... Got him. There we go. A tier. <laughs> Instead of obscuring vision, this attachment obscures sound. That's right, the suppressor. I instinctively looked at chat No longer will you broadcast too. your location loudly and clearly to the entire enemy team. This guy makes your gun much quieter, which means it doesn't show up on the minimap when you shoot. So what, you may be thinking? Well, believe it or not, most players actively use the minimap to find enemies. Okay, Shocking, yeah. I know. Accurate. Taking yourself off the minimap is very good for sneaking around and being naughty. A tier. A tier. 
Up next, Sneaky the rib. Beakies, yep. Rigid hull, inflatable boat. Whoa. This thing is fast and has four seats for you and your buds. But most importantly, it has this thing, which is capable of shooting at a blistering 6,000 rounds per minute. What? This boat is pretty much the water version of the transport helicopter with less protective shielding and one less minigun. Basically, this thing is a real man's vehicle. Miss your shots and you die. Carelessly drive into enemy territory and you die. But position yourself correctly, time the enemy movements and strike with power and ferocity and you will certainly you find great exploded. success. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Got him. A tier. Moving a bit down the scale the of destruction, we have the EOD bot or Angry Wally. This thing is the most chaotic gadget in the entire game. Its intended purpose is to go around and repair friendly vehicles and arm MCOM objectives with its repair tool. I kind of love it. However, this purpose is limiting and boring. The EOD bot is much better suited as a means of slowly and painfully blowtorching the kneecaps of your enemies. In one round of using this thing, I managed to get over 50 kills. What? Now, this only really works in close quarters what? there, like lockers and metro. That's alright. Set yourself up next to a friendly ammo box and send a non-stop stream of explosive resistant kneecap burning robots down oh the hall to your that's enemies. that's meta. Oh, love it. A tier. A tier. Easy. For our final item of A tier, we have light vehicles as a means of transportation. That's right. I thought for this item, we'll keep it simple and fun. Just driving around in your quad bike, without a care in the w- Uh oh. <laughs> Jets? No. Bad. Far too easy. Helicopters? Absolutely not. Terrible. Cringe. Cringe. Quad bikes. Now that's the stuff. Explosives in this game exert force on friendly vehicles when they're detonated. Given uh -huh. enough explosives, oh no. magical things can happen. Oh no. What? <laughs> 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 Way over. Dude, I'm on A. <laughs> he got to A. <laughs> Holy shit. You hit the roof. No way. Phenomenal. What? A tier. Amazing. Legendary if I say so. I know, I know. We're 23 minutes into a Battlefield 4 video, and I've made no mention of the big ones. The uh -huh. units. The hefty fellas. The chonkers. The chongus. Chongus? <laughs> Vehicles. Not the transport helis or MRAPs, but the real big lads. Tanks, LAVs, mobile anti-air, scout helicopters, attack helicopters, attack boats, Stealth jets and attack jets. Chungus. The big boys. Each of these vehicles has the capacity to completely turn the game. They yeah. each have powerful weapons, thick armor, or high mobility. Uh huh. In the community, the players that only seem to ever be inside vehicles are affectionately referred to as vehicle whores. <laughs> I will admit to being a bit of a vehicle whore myself, but what can I say? It is pretty fun. I will now briefly explain all the vehicles. Okay. Uh, scout helicopter. <laughs> Minigun good. <laughs> Shoot ants with minigun. Uh -huh. Shoot tank with rocket. Uh -huh. Run away when feeling scared. <laughs> Attack boot. Use Attack burst boat. cannon. Kill ants. Use TV missile. <laughs> Kill jet. And also... Boop. Boop. Annoy jet. Jet come for you now. Die. Anti-air tank. Remove frontal this. lobe. Sit in spawn. <laughs> Shoot at passing. Get no kills. Realize you are failure. Get bored. Run into battle. Turn infantry into Heinz tomato ketchup. See tank. Scream. Ooh. Die. <laughs> LAV. Use gun and go. Kill ants. Use tow missile. Kill helicopter. See tanks. Run away fast. Tank can't get you. See helicopter. Run away fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> tank. Big gun. Go. Talk. Find LAV. Shoot LAV. Find tank. Shoot tank. Find ants. Shoot ants. Big brain. See jet. Shoot jet. Run away. Can't run away fast. Die. Attack jet. <laughs> big, big gun go. <laughs> Find tank. Pop tank. Pop tank. Drop bomb on tank. Oh, Find no. boat. Pop boat. Find helicopter. Pop helicopter. Find ant. More difficult to find. Drop bomb on ant. <laughs> See stealth jet. Oh, no, no. Run away. Stealth jet too fast. Die. Attack helicopter pilot. Find ants. Sit still and let gunner shoot them. Find, Find tanks. Like destroy tanks. Ants. See helicopters. Destroy helicopters. See jet. Run. <laughs> die. Attack helicopter gunner. Click on white spots on screen. Yeah. Rack up 200 kill streak. Jesus. Shoot TV missile. Kill helicopter. Shoot TV <laughs> missile. Miss. Air, die. Air, air superiority is Find meta. ants with Got laser guided it. missile. Shoot ants with 25 millimeter cannon. Ants get angry. See stealth jet. Engage in 12 minute dogfight. Kill enemy jet. <laughs> 12 minutes. Annoy tanks with rocket. Annoy boats with rocket. Kill helicopters. Kill ants. You do not die. <laughs> Stealth Jet OP. <laughs> S tier. <laughs> Stealth Jet OP. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. That's what? Clear. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Good oh, job, Tim. Vapor has yep, a problem. That's right. Fair enough. The defibrillator. Quite the impressive piece of technology. It also kills. Shot repeatedly and now dying on the floor. Defib. Got him. Several bullets have passed directly <laughs> through your heart. Defib. Defib. A sniper has unfortunately delivered a 50 BMG round right into your nose. Yep. Defib. Defib. An LAV has sent four armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding saber warheads through your head. That's right. Defib. A tank has fired a high-explosive shell directly into your chest. I gotta get the defib the kill on stream. It's gotta has happen. separated not only your limbs from your body, but the skin, yep. muscles, and bones from said limbs. Defib. You do not lie dead. Worse. You are a mere puddle. Your existence instantly wiped out. Defib. The horror of this event no doubt replaying in the minds of everyone unlucky enough to bear witness. <laughs> you guessed it. Defib. The defibrillator is, as you can imagine, quite a powerful gadget. Broken. To get yourself a squad and have them all use it. When one dies, run over and revive him. <laughs> Bonus points if you all use the combat medic perk. Oh my god. Double the speed of a full revive. Oh my god. S tier. S tier. Then of snap defib. Next, we've got the equivalent of shining a red laser around a cat. Uh -huh. A laser designator. Or the acquire and fire. Laser and blaze. Lock and co The recon class has several gadgets. I kind of need this of laser though, actually. Designating vehicles. I do miss the javelin from uh, Modern Warfare 2. Locked onto by certain rocket, rocket launchers rocket. and vehicle weapons. The resulting hit will deal way more damage, all the while being able to fire out of line of sight and not having to hold on to the lock. Yeah! Also works against jets. Got Get em. your buddy to play recon and lays <laughs> everything he sees. You then play as an engineer with the javelin and anti-tank perk. He locks. You cop. Pretty simple. <laughs> S tier. S tier. Now, what guns do you think are best? Well, that's a bit of an impossible question to answer. So let's narrow it down. Uh, what guns are the best on Operation Lockup? The weird, the weird AK. The H23 assault rifle. High rate of fire. 35 bullets. Good range. No. How about the no. SKS? Fast firing DMR. Kills in three shots. Has very good range. I would use no. the SKS. Maybe the AEK 971. The sweaty tryhard's weapon of choice. Very high rate of fire. Oxycontin. High damage. Very little recoil and spread. No. No. The Scar H. Hard hitting. No. The no. FAMAS. No. No. All these weapons pale in comparison to the true dominators of close quarters battle. Shotguns? The shotguns. Why bother <laughs> shooting a guy three, four, even five times when one will do? Instead of shooting a continuous stream of ten bullets, why not condense that into a single spray of lead pellets? Sexy rifle though, it looks like it. If all you need is one shot, you can beat anyone. Given you shoot first. Yeah. My favorites of the shotgun genre would be the SPAS-12, 870MCS, and Saiga 12K. Want Legit. a bit more range? Use flechette rounds. Want a DMR in shotgun form? Slug rounds are the way to go. What? Or maybe you just want to blow shit up. Frag rounds. You have frag rounds the in this game? The 40mm grenade launchers also come with buckshot variants that can one-shot guys at an incredibly stupid range. But what? wait, there's more. Shotguns are also very good at annoying people. TBV. <laughs> very fun. S tier. Oh my god, shotguns Next OP, got list, it. A very basic mechanic of Battlefield 4. Spotting people. Oh my god, why doesn't everyone spot? I will now demonstrate how to spot an enemy in Battlefield 4. Uh-huh. Instru Incredible. Instructions this unclear. This will place the enemy's I, I don't, exact I don't positions understand. on the minimap. It also puts a big, fat, <laughs> orange, or some other color, Dorito <laughs> over their head for a few seconds. It's basic. Fundamental, even. But spotting is incredibly important. So do it, please. I do, I do it habitually. S tier. <laughs> so, we've learned that the stationary tow missile is very effective. Well, what if we took the exact same thing <laughs> and, we spotted and stuck it onto a boat noises. or LAV? Great things, no doubt. The tow missile on vehicles retains its incredible power and then adds to it by allowing the launcher to move. <laughs> wow. wow. In a similar vein to tow missiles, we have TV missiles. These guys are available for the attack boat and attack helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> They're technically available in the attack jet, but don't. Don't. Just don't. don't. The TV missile is a missile that you control with the mouse. A good way to think about it is that you become the missile. Become. And in more ways than one. What? What? S tier. What? <laughs> so, you've taken my advice and are now exclusively using vehicles. Uh -huh. The map Paracel Storm comes on. You hop in your boat, equip the TV missile, and look for trouble. But, before you even see an enemy, you've been hit by an enemy TV missile. <laughs> This just won't do. <laughs> well, remember that I said when you shoot a TV missile, you become the TV missile. Oh. This is true in more ways than one. As it turns out, this game was never completely polished. So when you shoot a TV missile, you literally do become the missile. Amazing. Your soul was transferred from human being driving a boat 
into this small piece of metal hurtling across that's the sky. That's this means that somehow you can shoot at a TV missile and it'll do damage to the driver of the boat. Hmm. Armed with this knowledge, it's still really hard to actually pull it off and kill a boat pilot, uh -huh. but it can be done. Huh. That is yeah. dumb. Wow. Broken. Overpowered. What the fuck? S tier. S tier? <laughs> Remember how much I like spotting? Fuck. Well, this gadget is made exclusively for spotting enemies. The MAV. This Mav. little guy has a thermal camera and is able to fly. It's effectively a way of getting valuable information without any real risk. You can then perform the complex maneuver of mashing the shit out of the Q key <laughs> and revealing everyone on the map. You I then get off the MAV, glue your eyes to the mini map, and shoot guys and dance enemies. A very useful gadget for almost any situation. Uh -huh. It can also destroy equipment like radio beacons, tugs, <laughs> mortars. <laughs> Even explosives. <laughs> hmm. S tier. <laughs> in Battlefield, there is usually a spread of good maps and not so good maps. <laughs> the fact sure, that it's a Dorito makes bad, it even better. Sure, they are pretty frustrating. However, these maps usually possess some fun or interesting spots to go to. For example, on the map Rogue Transmission, if the boys and I are having a shit game, we'll get in the transport helicopter uh -huh. and fly up to the radio telescope. Yeah. Or, as we call it, the rogue transmission. What? These fun spots tend to be high up and relatively safe. You can also try using explosives to launch vehicles on top of places. <laughs> this is more difficult, but very fun. Can be done. Other good spots include the skyscrapers on Dawnbreaker and the big boy in Siege of Shanghai. Anywhere where you can jump down and ruin someone's day from. This is amazing. S tier. Amazing. Tonk. <laughs> the party what? life. Yet again, you need some buddies. Get everyone to hop in the LAV, which can seat a pretty solid six sweaty men. <laughs> Two of them deal the damage, those being the driver and oh gunner, no. while the other four should be responsible for repairing the vehicle and shooting rockets at bad guys. You can even combine this with the laser designator by getting the gunner to equip the party so LAV you better. Can then laser in the vehicle and have all your boys hop out and shoot a rocket at it. This is guaranteed to ruin someone's day. <laughs> S tier. <laughs> Speaking of ruining Dead. people's day, the UCAV has returned yet again. Oh no. This time, however, we need five brave and noble UCAV wielding soldiers. Uh huh. You can see in the UCAV spam tactic, I noted that it does 20 damage when it hits into I'm a tank to or other heavy Straight vehicle. up. <laughs> well, the observant among you may have done some simple arithmetic and divided 100, the total health of the vehicle, 20. by 20, five hits, the damage yeah. of the UCAV, and came to five which is the number of UCAVs necessary oh, to no. take a tank from 100 HP to zero. Oh, no. So I did exactly this. Got oh, no. five boys together, unlocked the UCAV slowly and painfully with all of them, oh, and then began the day ruining on a truly monumental Day scale. is ruined. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is actually really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. What the fuck? There's the boat. I see it, I see it. It's on the other side of sea. I love oh, this. That's, that's I love here. everything about this. <laughs> S tier. Fucked. So that's Absolutely how conventional you cracked. Unit. But sometimes, warfare calls for unconventional tactics. These following tactics are the unconventional tactics among Super unconventional Christ. tactics. They are the least expected, and as such, may get you removed from accurate. the server. That is accurate. Perhaps permanently. Someone else's First, day. we have using the MAV to kill people. Oh. Remember how I said that it can destroy explosives? Well, these explosives do damage to enemies. Oh no. Pretty neat. But this is in fact an intended tactic. What is not intended is getting a friend on the enemy team to exclusively plant explosives oh, around no. his teammates' feet. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Tia. <laughs> Look at these fucks. Fucking Think goats. They're better than us. Little do they know, the battlefield soldier is also capable of a great- Why? Why are they all on the fucking wall? What possesses you? I think they're better than us. Little do they know, the battlefield- Why? I- I don't understand- I don't understand goats. I like goats. I don't understand goats. Why? What- what- what possesses you? Soldier is also capable of great mountain climbing feats. Only on Operation Locker though. Between <laughs> C and D, you can jump into the red zone here to sneak past- Powerful people. ankles. Oh my Between god. Between D and E is a spot that you can reach by jumping I here. I love that this was never patched. And climbing around the side. Then running up this slope. This part has lots of invisible sky the Goats are amazing. Go all the way around to D. This is far from an exhaustive list, so experiment and find yourself some even more interesting spots. Go. <laughs> Next up, this one won't get you banned, but it is very unconventional. 
and pretty fun. Uh -huh. A selection of the small easter eggs on some of the maps. I plan to go into detail on the phantom assignment easter eggs, but they're way too long, so you'll have to look into them yourself. For Parasol Storm, we have the Megalodon. The Megalodon easter egg is fairly simple to pull off. First, get yourself up to the windmill with the burning destroyer next to it. Uh -huh. Stay there until the storm blows in, and you get smited by God himself. Then, go to one of these two islands near the E point. On both are these trees with parrots on them. Walk onto the tree, and wait about a minute. After waiting, a light will appear in the water. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Shoot it, and watch. What? Oh, 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 look, look, look. Oh, it just shot into the water. What? This was very of the era. This is like Black Ops 2, Easter egg, zombie Easter egg. Like, this is very of the era. Where did this go? Why is this not in the modern Call of Duties? For fuck's sake. This is brilliant, whale. Oh, well, Megalodon. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Pretty cool. On Heinen Resort, you can go to the top of the main building, get the AMR2 battle pickup, jump onto this air conditioner or whatever it is, uh -huh. prone in exactly this spot, uh -huh. aim towards the broken container ship, and shoot the light that appears. Uh huh. Wild. Oh no. Is that gonna get a kill? Neat. On the map Operation Whiteout, near Sea Point, there are a bunch of icicles that you can pick up and use I'm as a melee. It took yeah, me what quite a while it? to get this footage, so please appreciate the reaction. Get him! Yeah! Got him. <laughs> and then this happened. <laughs> no! <laughs> and finally, the Golmud Railway Yeti. Very what? easy. The what? Go to this rock here with a rocket launcher, find the bright light, shoot it, and... Yeah. Well, Incredible. Hey, how's it going, Russell? Tier. <laughs> Brilliant. Remember the skid loader from all the way back in C tier? Well, it's actually kind of busted. Is if it? you get on the back and aim down your sights, you're inexplicably given a literal wall hack. I don't know how. What? I don't know why. Amazing! But it works. Seriously. Look at this. That is some fucking spaghetti code. Holy shit. Shit. It's incredible. Tier. <laughs> and for our final tactic, <laughs> the <laughs> most fucked one. This one has no- Start spotting people through walls! A real counter, and is completely broke. Operation Forklift is a go, gentlemen. <laughs> However, it will certainly get you banned. So use at your own discretion. Oh? There's a section of wall that can be clipped through up near the E flag. Playing as Recon with the Mav, jump on these boxes and place the Mav inside this section of wall. It's uh. really finicky and hard to get right. Once it's down, jump onto the Mav. Prone and slide into the wall. Oh, I get it. Because you're Congratulations, into a... You're now in the ceiling. Fly a mav through where you just slid and pick it up. You're like, yeah, there's a difference between like party lav and this. Jump on this corner and run across the ceiling to this little outcropping of ice. Place your mav Switch once again in this buff. little spot. Climb up and slide through the small opening. Finally, you're here. You can place your spawn beacon. Now, what's no. so special about this spot? You may be wondering. Well, we're behind a wall. Better yet. You can see, and even shoot, out of this wall, but no one can see in, or shoot in. That's bad. Like I said, this one's fucked. Use it your own discretion. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> See, Taco Bell. So there we Taco have it, Bell lads. Now. All the wacky shit I could think of. Oh my god. As many of you know, Battlefield 6 seems to be in the works. Is it really? Uh, uh, have we heard Battlefield 6 news? I This is the first I'm hearing of Once it. Once it's out, I'm gonna stream it. And if the game is any good, probably make a video so stay tuned gents yeah. again thank you to world of tanks goodbye this, this was cracked i loved everything about this beautiful kiwi absolutely beautiful <laughs> god that was i'll have to watch the battlefield 2042 one um another time oh wow oh, this is prior to 2044 okay got it wow that was quite the experience asmin <laughs> surprise <laughs> surprise asmin Alrighty, so I think that's, I think that's gonna do it for that one. Badger, wait, where, what about Badger?